The first look inside the secret world of Guantanamo Bay interrogation. The detainee is just 16 years old, a Canadian citizen called Omar Qadda, who was accused of throwing a grenade that killed a US soldier in Afghanistan in 2002. His interrogators are agents from the Canadian Security Intelligence Services. While the video doesn't show Qadda being tortured, he can be seen showing his Canadian interrogators injuries that he claims came from torture. He said the cells, yeah, can't move my arms. I requested medical for a long time, he doesn't do anything about it. No, I mean, they, they look like they're healing well to me. You know, I'm not a doctor, but I think you're getting good medical care. No, I'm not. You're not here. More than seven hours of video recorded over four days has been released after a long legal battle between Omar Qatar's lawyers and the Canadian and US governments. His lawyers claim he's been abused and mistreated inside Guantanamo. You don't care about me, that's what... Well, I do care about you, but I want, I want to talk to the, to the honest owner that I was talking to yesterday. I don't want to talk to this owner. It wasn't honest. Yes, it was. You see, I'm not going to believe you. Well, look me straight in the eyes and tell me that you're being honest. I am being honest. Well, you, you can't even bear to look at me when you're saying that. Like, uh, Cutter, now aged 21, is set to be tried by a U.S. military tribunal in October. His mother and sister have publicly pleaded his innocence in Canada, but another brother, Abdullah, is in a Toronto jail fighting extradition for conspiring to kill U.S. forces in Afghanistan. The father of the family, Ahmed Saeed, was an alleged al-Qaeda financier who died in a shootout with Pakistan forces in 2003. The same year, another brother, Abdul Rahman, was released from Guantanamo. Human rights groups have demanded Omar Qatar be released because he was only 15 at the time of his capture. But just last week, the Canadian Prime Minister told reporters he would not ask the US government to repatriate him. Qatar's lawyers say they hope this video will shame Canadian politicians into action. Dan Nolan, Al Jazeera. Well, a little earlier, we spoke to Dennis Edney, the lawyer representing Omar Khadr. He says the tapes have been released to pressure the Canadian government into calling for his client's release. That we've released these videos, which is a follow-up to documents that we released last week, which were, these are secret documents that were released, demonstrating that that uh, Mr. Carter had been mistreated in Guantanamo. And why are we doing that? Well, we're trying to, sh first of all, counteract the government's position, the Canadian government's position, that says that it's long been assured that Mr. Carter was treated well in Guantanamo Bay and continues to do so. Well, that is, in fact, a misleading, if not a lie, because the Canadian government, through these videos, knew well that Mr. Carter accused the Americans of torturing him and told the Canadian officials that he was scared of them and please protect me.